Caribbean islands are composed of a wide variety of natural environments. The ecosystems create a rich and unique biodiversity. This makes the Caribbean one of the hotspots of global biodiversity. But this biodiversity is threatened by the introduction of invasive alien species. Animals and plants are deliberately or accidentally introduced by humans into territories where, in many cases, they do not encounter predators capable of effectively regulating their numbers. Their presence and proliferation threaten native habitats and species. One of the first invasive species in history followed humans in the conquest of islands and new continents. Secretly embarking in ship hauls, the black rat, native to Asia, accompanied humans on long-distance journeys across the world. These overseas journeys are responsible for introducing the black rat to the Caribbean islands in the 16th century. Opportunistic and omnivorous, the rat is a tree-dwelling species that feeds on seeds, small prey, eggs and chicks. Unfortunately, the rat has devastated an important number of birds' nests. The impact of this devastation has caused the rat to be ranked at the top of the list of the 100 most invasive alien species in the world. The small Indian mangus was introduced in the Caribbean as an auxiliary to combat poisonous snakes and rats that were attracted by the crop harvests. The idea behind the mangus introduction was to control the rat population, which were attacking sugarcane plantation at the time. The result was quite different, as the two animals did not have the same life cycle. The rat continued to proliferate and so did the mangus. The impacts of this new predator on native fauna turned out to be catastrophic and resulted in the disappearance of native species, including the burrowing owl in Guadeloupe. The small Indian mangus previously fed primarily on ground nesting birds, eggs and chicks. However, the mongoose has recently expanded in predation to include seed the nesting grounds on multiple Caribbean islands. The common green iguana, Iguana iguana, is easily recognized by its black striped tail and one large scale below the external eardrum. This reptile was introduced in the Caribbean from South and Central America. The Lesser Antilles are home to the Lesser Antillean Iguana, Iguana delicatissima, an endemic iguana species. The common green iguana and the Lesser Antillean Iguana compete for the same habitats. Since the introduction of the common green iguana, the populations of Lesser Antillean Iguanas have greatly declined. To make matters worse, the hybridization between these two reptile species threatens the genetic integrity of the endemic species. Will the common green iguana completely eliminate the less antilene iguana? It seems that this invasive species certainly has the means to do so. Although most invasive alien species are discreet, this is not the case for the cicada of French Guiana. This large insect, originally found in the Amazon, comes to life when the day begins to heat up. The cicadas were unintentionally introduced to the Caribbean islands, the males produce deafening sound to attract females. This noise pollution does not seem to have any impact on local wildlife, until proven otherwise. Small size does not reduce the environmental burden caused by invasive species, as proof the manioc ant or leaf-cutting ant weighs only 15 milligrams. 
Yet this small insect is responsible for considerable damage to crops, gardens and wild flora. Originating from South America, this species is now thriving in the Caribbean islands. There are no known predators that are able to control the ants and the chemical and biological controls have not been effective. Collectively, the leaf-cutting ant colonies are undoubtedly the largest herbivorous organism in the Caribbean islands. The giant African snail was introduced from Africa into the West Indies to increase trade across the Atlantic. When the giant African snail was released into the wild, its ferocious appetite for crops and wild plants caused important levels of damage. In the absence of indigenous predators, the snails have proliferated at an incredible rate. Hermaphrodite, thus equipped with both male and female reproductive organs, each individual can lay up to 200 eggs seven times a year. So it's simple to calculate. Each pair can produce up to 2,800 new snails per year. Originally introduced from Asia Minor, the Eurasian colored dove was released in the Caribbean during the mid-1970s. This bird is particularly well adapted to the region and is now observed in flocks made up of hundreds of individuals. This introduced species competes directly with native dove species in the West Indies. The Eurasian colored doves also threaten other Columbidae species through the propagation of diseases. The diversification and spread of invasive alien species is a real threat to biodiversity. Everyone must take responsibility. New species should not be introduced into natural environment in the Caribbean islands. Preventing the introduction and proliferation of alien species is one way to preserve the unique plants and animals found in the region.